In this video, I wanna show you how to create a simple trend trading with stocks bot. I think it's gonna be a really easy bot to start with, whether you trade stocks or whether you trade options. And it shows you how we can put together these scanner and monitor automations into a very simple bot that automates the process of trend trading stock. Now the goal or objective of this particular bot is simply to buy stock when it's above a long-term moving average and then sell that stock whenever it dips below its long-term moving average. This is actually really easily accomplished in a very simple bot with one scanner automation and with one monitor automation. So inside of our bot dashboard here, you can see I don't have any bots because I'm just starting out all these bot examples. So I wanna simply click the button to create a new bot. In this case, we'll call this our simple trend with stocks bot. You can give it all of your allocation and icon settings, and of course, set all of your position limits like your daily and total limits. And once you're ready to go, you simply hit create a bot. And then you can view your bot, and that sends you right over to the bot shell, which is pretty easy. The bot, of course, has no activity in it because it hasn't been trading and we haven't added any positions and we don't have any automations. And again, by default, the bots are always turned off when they're created or cloned from another bot. So you'll have to come back in here, as we'll show you at the end of this video, and turn on these automations to start the bot. This is one of the safeguards that we put in place to make sure that the bot only starts running when you are 100% sure of all of the automations and settings that you've created. Now again, inside of our simple trend with stocks bot, we're gonna create one scanner and one monitor automation. Again, as a reminder, the scanners are used to find and enter new positions and the monitor automations are used to monitor existing and open positions. So in here, we'll simply click on the button to create a new scanner. We go over here to select the automation and notice that we don't have any automations that are saved because this is the first one that we're creating for this brand new account. So we go up here to create new automation. Up at the top, we can name this automation something a little bit more descriptive than automation one. In this case, we can say trend scanner for stocks. We can add this to our library, which allows us to reuse this automation across any of the other bots that we create as well. Once we're good to go, we hit, simply hit save. That renames this particular scanner automation. So now we know when we reference it later on that this is a trend scanner for the purpose of entering a stock position. Now we need to start filling out the automation editor. In this case, it's gonna be pretty simple because all we need to do is simply add one decision and one action. The first thing that we want this scanner to do whenever it starts running is simply to make a decision. Now again, you can start with any of these actions here, but in most cases for scanners, you're gonna to wanna to start with a set of decisions or a number of decisions that help the bot filter through the market data to get to the exact parameters that you want before entering a position. In our example here, we'll add one recipe, which is just simply to check the moving average against the stock's price. Now again, this is a very simple recipe that we can add to our decision criteria, and you can choose from all of the list of recipes here. But in this example, I just wanna give you one very simple stock scanner to run. In this case, we'll simply select this recipe here, which is gonna check the symbol price and see if the symbol price is above or below some moving average that you set. Now I'm gonna start using a couple more of these custom features that we've highlighted in previous videos so that you can see how you can put together all of these bots and some of these custom inputs to make it more flexible. Now, when you choose the symbol field, you can of course choose a particular symbol that you want this automation to run on, or you can make this field more dynamic. Now, if I choose SPY, then this symbol field will always run on SPY. And anytime I wanna come in here and change this, I'd have to come into this automation and make the change to a different symbol. Instead, what I can do is actually create a custom input. Now we've gone through this in other videos and I'll show you how to do it here so that you can, again, continue to make your bots more flexible. In this case, we'll add a custom input for this particular field, and we'll call this the ticker. We'll add a default symbol to this field so that if the field is not set up in our automation, the default symbol will reflect back to this value here, which is SPY. Once we click save, then that becomes a custom input. And notice that it's now shown as the label that we gave it, which is the ticker price, which means that we essentially can fill this in anytime we want and make this automation more flexible. Now we'll go over to the next field, which is simply above, and we'll go through that one. And then we'll choose our trend length. In this case, we'll choose a really long-term moving average, like the 200-day moving average. We'll go over to next, and then we'll hit save. 
This now adds this recipe to our list of decision criteria. Now, again, you can add more of these decision criteria if you want to. In this bot example, because we're starting very slow and keeping things simple, we just have this one criteria that we want to add. We want to check and see if the ticker price is above the 200 day moving average. That's it. Once we're good to go, we simply hit save. Now that splits our automation into two different branches. As soon as the automation starts running for this scanner, it will first check and see if the ticker price that we had set is above the 200 day moving average. If it is, then we might want the bot to take some sort of action or make other decisions. If it's not, then we want the bot to maybe take some sort of other action or make some other set of decisions or potentially do nothing at all. Notice that you can always let one of these branches just simply end. Because this is a very simple trend trading bot for stocks, all we want to do is check and see if the ticker is above its 200 day moving average. And if it is, we want to get into a long equity position. So we go over here to the yes branch and we add another action. The action that we're going to start with now is open position. That's all we want to do. We want to open a new position as long as the ticker price is above its 200 day moving average. Now, in this case, we can again select manually from any of the list of available symbols or because we've now created a custom input for a symbol, we can go over here to the input and link that to the existing ticker that we've already created. This will make sure that whenever we input just one time the ticker symbol in the automation fields that it flows through to the rest of the fields in the automation. Now we'll select the amount of long equity that we want and notice we can choose from a list of available recipes or we can just simply select the amount here. Notice we'll just choose one share of stock just to keep things really simple. Once we're good to go, we simply hit save. That now adds the open position action to our automation editor and that's it. This is our very simple trend scanner for stocks. Again, it's very simple because all we're doing is checking to see if the ticker is above its 200 day moving average. And if it is, then we're opening a long equity position in the stock. If the ticker is not above its 200 day moving average, we're going to leave this no branch empty and just let the automation end. This means that if any of the tickers that we put in here are currently below their 200 day moving average, it would not enter a new long equity position until the time came that the ticker was trading above its 200 day moving average. Again, the power of automation to make these decisions for you versus you having to make these decisions on your own. Once you're good to go with this trend scanner, you just simply exit out of the automation editor and inside of your new scanner build here in settings, you'll see your list of automations that you or your automation that you've created and you'll see any of the custom inputs that you've created inside of that automation. Notice our first custom input was the ticker symbol is SPY. Now, again, we can change the ticker symbol here and this will now flow through to the rest of the fields inside of that automation for this particular symbol. Here, we'll just simply add this one as Apple. Once we're good to go, we simply hit save. And now that new scanner has been added to our scanner automations inside of our bot. Notice that the scanner status is still off because we haven't turned on any automation. So we're free to continue building out this bot and adding the other automations. With this scanner in place, we now have one of the pieces of our strategy complete. We're now scanning for a stock being above its 200 day moving average and we're entering a long stock position. Now what we have to do is we have to build out the management of that particular stock. And in this case, we'll use monitor automations. Now, again, monitor automations are going to be triggered when new positions are open or new positions are active inside of the bot that you have. Here we'll go over and we'll add a new monitor automation to tell the bot exactly how we want to monitor any long stock position that the bot adds. In this case, we'll select from a list here and notice that the incompatible automations are our scanners. We don't have any current monitor automations that tell the bot how to manage positions. We haven't created any inside of our library. So we're going to create a new automation. Again, we'll go up here to the top and we'll name it something a little bit more familiar and descriptive like stock trend manager. This tells us exactly what this monitor automation is doing and helps us understand what it might be doing if we're looking at a list of automations inside of our library. We'll go ahead and hit save. Now we have to start building out our monitor automation. Now the first thing that you will typically do is you will start this monitor automation or most monitor automations with a repeater. 
Now, the repeater is really important because it pulls in all of the information for particular positions so that it can repeat and loop through any positions that the bot has open currently. So you can set the repeater to be any type of position in the bot, or you can specify repeaters, as we'll show in other examples, to specifically watch for certain types of positions that the bot opens, like a short call spread or a long put, et cetera. We could set this one for just long equity, but in this case, we'll just simply set it for all. This means that any position that the stock opens, even if it's a long equity or option position, will be going through the exact same position criteria for management. Here we'll simply hit save. So this is the first step in monitor automations and typically the first step because it's going to repeat through each position and essentially pull in the information to be used for the, for the decision of managing the position. The next thing that we'll do is we'll add a decision. Remember that in this case, for this simple trend trading with stocks, we wanna check and see if the stock is trading above or below its 200 day moving average. So we're gonna add some more criteria, again, with the same values that we had before from our scanner. Notice here that we can choose the symbol price here if we want to, and we can manually type in a symbol, but that wouldn't be as efficient because we have to match that up to the existing positions that we have. What if we traded Apple this time and QQQ next time and TLT this other time? We wanna make this field more dynamic. So you could add a symbol here if you specifically are gonna track everything off of one symbol, or you can again go here to your custom link. Now notice that when you go to your custom link, it's already gonna pull in some of these symbol fields. Because we added the repeater first, it's telling the bot to reference the symbol inside of each individual position one by one. Now that we have that symbol in here as a custom link, we go over to the appropriate fields and we check and see if the stock symbol price is still trading above its 200 day moving average. Then we add this to our list of decision criteria and add this to our automation. So every time that this automation starts, it will repeat through every single position that it has, whether it has one stock position or 10 stock positions, it will pull the symbol price for every one of those positions and check individually to see if the symbol is above its 200 day moving average or not. If the stock is above its 200 day moving average, then we wanna leave this yes branch to just end and be blank. Now this is important because we don't wanna get out of the stock position if it's still in an uptrend. So we'll leave this yes branch blank. If the stock is now below its 200 day moving average and the answer to this question is no, is the stock above its 200 day moving average? No, the stock is now below its 200 day moving average. We might wanna close the position. So here we add an action to close the position. Now you can select the position here and it just links up to the existing position that it was referencing because you've added it behind a repeater. So now when you close the position, it knows exactly which position to close. It would close the exact position with the symbol price that's trading below its 200 day moving average. And that is your stock manager. It's all done and complete. Three very simple actions that you want this manager to take every time that it runs. It's just gonna repeat through each position, check and see if the symbol price is above the 200 day moving average. And if it's not, and the stock is now in a downtrend, simply close the position and wait for a new re-entry. Now that we have this monitor built out, we can simply exit out of this and then simply hit save. Now we have a complete bot that's built. We have our scanner, which is looking for stocks that are trading above the 200 day moving average. And we have our stock manager, which is looking for positions that get entered and checking to see if the stock ever dips below its 200 day moving average. Again, notice that both of these are currently set to off because we haven't turned on our bot. Once we're ready to go, we simply turn on our bot and let it start running. So that's your first example of a simple trend with stocks bot that you can build. It's a very easy bot and shows you how to link together these two scanners and monitor automations and we'll continuously get more complex and more creative as we build out more bots in this section.